Hello everyone, welcome back to the Pair Extra channel. It is me, Jonathan, and today I will be tasting yet another flavor of the Mountain Dew beverage. Today's beverage, try to turn off my space here. Today's beverage is Fruit Quake. This is a holiday Mountain Dew with a blast of artificial fruit cake flavor. Um, because fruit cakes are so like just natural, uh, they had to make very specific that it is a artificial fruit cake flavor. Uh, there is a big monster truck, and you can see the wheel. Of the monster truck looks like a fruit cake. It has like the green and the red cherries. Looks like some almond looking things on there. They got like this border around the whole thing that kind of looks like Christmas lights made from cherries. Uh, and walnuts, maybe? Anyway, there is ester of rosin in here, which makes it not completely see-through. Uh, it is a dark red, almost mauve color to it. The ingredients doesn't really tell you anything about what you're going to experience here. Um, I have had fruitcake before. It's been a while. Um, I don't think I've ever had a fruitcake that I enjoyed. But uh, let's see what this smells like and tastes. Because, you know, you take something that no one likes, uh, you make it flavored, drink. Everyone will go out and get it. Maybe they should do... Um, uh, what's that terrible fruit? I've, I've done a, a video for it before. The one that smells like rotten onions and makes you want to throw up when you taste it. Uh, durian. You should make a Mountain Dew durian. You're going to do things that people don't like and make it into a Mountain Dew flavor. Uh, let's go ahead and smell it again. It does have like a dark fruit smell to it. A bit of like a maraschino cherry flavor uh, in the scent. Give it a taste. There's a weird flavor. It tastes like it tastes like um, all the leftover flavoring ingredients that Mountain Dew has had in the past year that uh, didn't get used up. They kind of just like pushed it all into the same vat. It was like, well, what are we going to call this one? It doesn't taste very good. It's the holiday season. How about Fruit Quake? It's weird. Fruit cake. It's supposed to be like a dense molassesy bread uh, filled with like dried fruits and nuts. There's nothing nutty or molassesy about this. There is like a fruitiness to it. I guess it's accurate uh, when it comes to the desire to ever want to try this again. There you go. Mountain Dew Fruit Quake. It's not good. But also make sure you recycle the bottle with the cap on as instructed. Hope you enjoy that video. Um, I didn't. Uh, I didn't quite enjoy the the flavor. 
of the Mountain Dew Fruit Quake. I'm glad I only got one. It leaves an aftertaste in your mouth, too. Which is also not pleasant. It tastes like a... There is a... Okay. If you've ever, like, a, been cleaning out your cupboards and you find, like, some old baking ingredients that have been opened and not quite sealed correctly, but they've been sitting in the back of your pantry or cabinet for too long and you don't know how long they've been back in there. It's a little dusty. The nuts have like a little bit of a, a rancidity to them. Uh, all like the good flavors have just gone away and you just have like old uh, in its replacement. That's kind of what this is. Uh, if you've had, if you like find like a, a really old bag of raisins, or a really old bag of like, I don't know why you would take maraschino cherries out of the jar and then put them in a bag to dry out. But that's kind of what it tastes like. Old dry fruit that should be thrown away instead of made into a beverage. Mountain Dew Fruit Quake. That's the end. Bye.